The journey to find the best snooker shot of 2022 continues this week with the Welsh Open, and here's how it works. I found the top 12 shots played in Newport and I'm going to decide which of them is best by attempting to recreate them as accurately as possible and play them in the fewest possible attempts. But we're going to begin with Hossein Vafai who has an awkward snooker to escape from. Not only does he manage to escape from the snooker, but playing it in the way he does, he manages to pot the red over the middle pocket. Other than the fact that the referee stood in the way a little bit, this is a great shot because he knows the cue ball's going to run safe if we were to miss the red. Or it should do. Because of the left hand side I'm having to put on the ball here, my first few attempts were a little way out and I was even struggling to hit it hard enough and make contact with the top cushion. Because the black's in the way a little bit, you can't strike the cue ball in the centre and I was struggling to judge the side spin. This was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I was a little bit disappointed I didn't get this one a little bit sooner. Ken Doherty's up next, playing a fun little billiard shot. I was surprised at how far he was able to get the cue ball over here without using any backspin because I knew that would be difficult and he managed to get in good position on both the pink and the black. When I first set the shot up it didn't look on even with a lot of top spin and right hand side and my first attempt went about as disastrously as I expected it to. So I was surprised to be able to get it on my second attempt although I didn't finish in position on the pink or black. So I decided to have a go at the long blue, and I got it, which I knew the audience would have been impressed with were they not out protesting a really poorly researched trip to Disneyland. We haven't done one of these shots in a while, but this is Stephen Maguire effortlessly screwing the cue ball back for the blue. I wasn't even confident from that far away that I could make the cue ball spin back at all, let alone get in position on the blue. Even though my first few attempts weren't really that encouraging, I wasn't getting anywhere near the pot, I was actually able to screw back at least far enough, possibly even get the cue ball to come back for the bolt colours if I'd needed to. Which meant all I had to do was pot the red, but that was looking harder and harder as every attempt went by. Considering I could screw the cue ball back far enough, I was a little bit disappointed not to get this sooner. However, when I did get it, I got the cue ball in almost the perfect position. A three ball plant has been spotted by home favourite Michael White here. Interestingly, he decided to play this instead of the pot. It was a clever shot though because it released the red and gave him a chance to win the frame at that visit. I'm just not sure I would have had the confidence to play it at that stage of the match because it was definitely missable. The ball didn't go exactly in the same direction but I was pleased to just get this after two attempts. Chenser fans the wrong side of the brown to get on the blue here as he tries to make a frame winning clearance to get his first frame on the board against Mark Selby. There's normally several ways of playing this shot but the pink and black are in the way of all the others and you've got to be a little bit careful you don't hit the pink on the way around the table. Other than that it's just a slight stun shot with a lot of left hand side to spin the cue ball around the angles. I was pretty pleased to get the pace right on my first attempt and leave myself spot on for the blue. However, Chen only won the frame when Mark Selby got the shot horribly wrong. Definitely one to forget from Mark here. It's all gone a bit wrong for Ricky Warden here. He had got himself into a match winning position against Ronnie O'Sullivan, but he finished out a position on the pink before casually getting down on the pink and queuing it into the bottom corner. To show how difficult this shot is and how brave Ricky was to take it on, I managed to miss it on my first attempt without any pressure, which had I been playing Ronnie would almost certainly have lost me the frame. I did however manage to get it on my second attempt, even though the cue ball wasn't great.
Speaking of casual, after potting the black, Jack Lazowski finds himself in a bit of an awkward position on the two reds. So he gets down and floats one into the corner pocket. When the cue ball finished up in that position, the crowd sighed because they didn't believe Jack was going to make a 100 break, but he just got down and knocked it in. This is all about judging the angle right and stunning the cue ball a little bit down for the black. I completely misjudged it on my first attempt, but managed to get it on my second. But which of these was the most casual shot? Jack Lazowski's shot was certainly played in an incredibly laid back way. The referee barely had time to spot the black and it earns him four casual cactuses. But Ricky Walden's shot eventually won in the match so it earns him five casual cactuses and he's this week's winner. Matthew Selt now playing a cheeky double on the pink that could well have rivaled anything we saw from last week. I wasn't 100% sure he played this because it was such a difficult shot and thought it was possible he may have just missed hit the snooker. But he did end up in a perfect position to roll a straight black into the middle pocket so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. As you can see, I didn't quite get the black in the right place and it was a little bit too far from the pink, but I'm not sure that really mattered. What did matter is how difficult this shot was. You had to cue it perfectly and get the right angle, and it was difficult to keep it straight enough to pot it from that distance. My fifth attempt was really annoying because I thought it went in, but it's such a difficult shot, you didn't just have to get close, you needed to get it spot on. This is definitely a contender for the best shot of the week because of just how difficult it was depending on whether or not we think he played it. At this point, I never actually thought I was going to get this, so I was just happy to see the pink disappear, even though the cue ball wasn't exactly in the right place. We've got Scott Donaldson snooker escape coming up next, after we find Bick, who's from Florina in Greece, which is about there. This is quite an awkward shot to hit and he can't even play the cue ball straight up and down. He needs to play it around two cushions with a little bit of left hand side to swing the cue ball wide enough to just make contact with the red. And on my first couple attempts it was the left hand side that slightly caught me out. It makes the cue ball reverse to the right as it goes up the table against the nap. I wasn't allowing for this initially which meant I was missing the red to the left hand side. So on my third attempt I allowed for it and actually struck the cue ball a little bit towards the pocket, it hit the right place on the bolt cushion and I made contact with the red. This CGI way shot is one I know I'm going to have problems with. This one requires you to power the cue ball through straight and that's something I'm not really that good at, so it's likely to take a little bit longer than you normally would expect. I also discovered it needs a small amount of right hand side to make the angle and that just makes it a little bit more missable than it ordinarily would have been. The other thing that worried me a little bit with this shot is you needed to be fairly fortunate once you contact the red and black to leave yourself in position. It would be very easy to make contact with the red and find it going safe. This is a decent shot and Cezor Wee is definitely a player we should be looking out for in the future, but I really don't think I should have had this much trouble playing it or getting near the pot on the pink so many times. In fact, I think I had more attempts at this than any other shot on the list and it definitely wasn't that difficult. So when I eventually potted the pink and cannoned the red into a position where I could pot it and the white didn't go in, I was pretty happy. Next we have Matthew Stevens playing a Judd Trump like positional shot. This is an incredibly accurate positional shot as the spin around three cushions has to be judged perfectly to land in the small gap between the red and the pink. Before even playing this I was pretty confident this would be a contender for the best shot and thought I was going to have a lot of trouble getting the cue ball into that position. My first attempt however was a lot better than I expected and I very nearly got inside the pink although I hit it a little bit too hard. On my second I got the pace almost exactly spot on but again was just a little bit wide with the cue ball. However I'd managed to get on the red in good position on both of these two attempts. So even though I hit it a little bit too hard I got the white in perfect position on the red on my third attempt so I decided to call it.
We have another seizure Wii shot coming up next after we find Abe, who's from Nadi in the island of Fiji, which is right there. This time he's trying to stay in the match against Judd Trump, but he finds himself in a really awkward no, snooker. Not only does he manage to escape from this, but he also manages to get the yellow safe. So the plan is not just to hit the yellow, but to somehow leave it in a position where I don't leave the pot on. This is just a plain ball shot, but the awkward thing to allow for is the amount the cue ball jumps as it makes contact with a bolt cushion. I judged it right on my third attempt, but the yellow didn't end up going safe and it was potable. What's happening here is the harder I strike the cue ball, the more it bounces off the bolt cushion, and the more it bounces, the wider it breaks, so I had to judge this right. I managed to get it right on my seventh attempt, and knock the yellow towards the side cushion, where it couldn't be potted past the brown. There was a lot of good shots this week and it was very difficult to choose a top three. I'm giving third place to Jose Bafai. This was a brilliant escape and a good way of potting a ball and making sure the cue ball went safe if you missed it. Second place goes to Matthew Sell. This one didn't win because I'm not sure if he played it, but it was a hell of a way to win a frame. But I'm giving first place to Matthew Stevens with what was certainly the best positional shot of the week in the middle of the frame, right when he needed it. Let me know what your favourite shot was in the comments, and if you want to see more tournaments where I've recreated shots, have a look at these two. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel, and visit the website. See you later!